it's Gemma here from Pixel Hop. Today I'm going to show you how to build an internationalised site using Nux and Strappy. So let's get going. First of all we need to build our Strappy site, just use MPX and um, just call it Strappy. Let it do its thing. Yeah, we're super impressed with how quick this was to do. Actually, cool, so that's done. Just put in the credentials for CMS. Cool, we've got a strappy site. So now let's create a content type. I'm just gonna build a single type, call it home the sake of this demo and then in settings we need to enable the local localization for the content type add some fields so i just add a title a body and an image and these fields will automatically have interna internationalization enabled on them obviously for the image field they don't want that so for certain fields you can that you don't that you want to be the same across all uh, languages um, you can disable the localization so for the image field we want that to be the same so we just disabled that so in the settings now we just need to add our different languages so we've got English that'll be the default and then we just add um, French, let's add French. Let's add German as well. Cool. So now we need, need to just make um, the content type um, publicly accessible so it doesn't need to be authentic authenticated for the API so just click find and then that's that now just add some content so it's for each of the different languages so it's just English just add any old image I'm not, I don't know what oh, that would do. <laughs> cool. So English, and so we just need to publish that and then add the other languages. Bonjour. See that image is there. So that'll be there for German as well. It's going to be dark. Actually, I think that might be two words. Oh. Okay, so we save that and publish that. Cool, so that's Strappy all set up. Now let's create our next site. Just use the MPX command. Call it next. Let's do its thing. Tailwind. Just run through those settings really quickly. Cool. Oh, now we should have an upside CD into that directory and just run the site. It's a 
Ta-da! Nuxt site. Cool, so now we just need to install the Nuxt i18n plugin. Open up the code and add in some of the configs. So we need to do some Nux config, config even. Add in the Nuxt i18n and then add in the options for that so we can pass in the different languages and also pass in add its default. Install the Nux Strappy plugin. And add that into the modules, into the Nux config again. And then add in the Strappy. And we need to add in the different entities, so the content type, which was home that I added. And that was a type of single and a comma. Oh. So to get the content, we need to use the async data hook to load the content in from Strappy. And then we can get access to the current locale using the um, Nuxt i18 module, which it is included in this async data context object. Um, then we can query the home entity using the current locale to make sure that we load the correct language. So let's just check this. There we go, you can see there. Oh. So now that we have got uh, the content from Strappy, we can start using it into inside our page. So just add the title, get rid of that, add in the body text and a bit of styling using Tailwind. Image. Pulls up the way through, just get the image URL. So I need to look at the strappy. Make it a bit smaller. Oh, I need to add it on to. Cool, so there we go, We've got the English page coming through. So now we just need to add a switcher. So let's create HTML, just create a list and then link in. And then, um, so first we need to create a computed property and we just need to get a list of the different locales from Nuxt. So into that. Locales. Cool. And then Add in a Nuxt link. Then this switch path is added by the i18n Nuxt plugin. Uh, it returns the current path of the locale you pass. So whether it's like English or EN or FR. Just use that inside the link there and then just need to loop over 
get a link for each of the locales. Cool. So we just need to import that component into our home page. Just output it here. styling as well. Good old tailwind. Ah. Oh, I did three equals. That should work now. Cool, so there we go. There we have it. That's internationalization with Nux and Strappy. Ooh, hope this has helped. Um and being clear enough to follow. If you've got any questions, then just give us a shout. Um, but yeah, we thought it was really easy to do, so just thought we'd share the knowledge. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>